Whoa, it's the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. I'm out here in my uh, atrium zone here. I'm regrouping on the, uh, the garden. I had all my cucumbers and some cantaloupe and stuff going, but they just, they've been struggling, right? They've been struggling. My, uh, my zucchinis and my squash seem to be doing pretty good, but my blueberries are struggling a little bit. My one tomato plant is absolutely going, doing great. My other one, not so much. My herbs are a little eh, wonky. My sage, I don't know what's going on with that. And my, I'm having a little trouble with my citrus tree, though. It's got a couple, couple things. And I planted a new eggplant. And I think that's watermelon and, and some, uh, I think, a new honeydew, right? So, I've been struggling with the garden, right? You know, growing, growing your own food's tough. If we don't appreciate farmers... And organic farmers and what they do to, to get us food for our table. I, we really have. And so, again, I, I'm the outside world's a reflection of my inner self. I've been really struggling with my garden here. And I'm like, I've been battling it. And, and I think, you know, I made a pretty interesting um, live stream yesterday, last night about the struggling with the thing. And then I, and I, I'm looking at the garden today and I'm like, these, these plants aren't gonna pull it. I'm like, and I asked myself what was up with that. And I realized I had planted that garden out there kind of based upon like fear. You know, it was, I planted that garden like the first week of April when the, sh the store shelves were being cleaned out and the scamdemic was in full effect and, you know, things seemed pretty ominous. So I'm thinking about it and I'm like, that, why there's so much trouble with that garden and the, and the roots and it's it's got some sort of root rot or whatever is going on over in there. I don't know. Is based upon the initial energy field. That that initial garden was planted out of a a fear survival mechanism, like an uncertainty and unknown. And as we've progressed since April, gosh, it's now June. It's been a lot, man. And so last weekend, I was like, oh, and I don't think I'm getting enough sun in there because it was, so I regrouped. I built some new planter boxes and I, I got this all protected. I got my little like, Keep the birds away. I've got some new stuff going on in here. I regrouped, right? Because you never quit. You never quit. You just keep regrouping and regrouping and, and you don't let failure get to you, right? So, because, you know, the garden thing, like, it's been, a, it's been a coping mechanism for me the last couple months, and yet it's been failing. And so again, as I go through the journey of self-exploration and realizing what it is for me that's going on with me that's reflecting in my outside world, root rot, fungus, fear-based realities, rotting the roots, the foundation, the whole thing. And I'm like, all right, I got to regroup. So I pulled all the, the weeds and I was like, well, what, what weeds do I need to pull within my, like what dying crops do I need to pull from my spiritual self? And I was like, I gotta unplug. 
right as as I think I've been on a heightened sense of alert for most of 2020 trying to navigate through this thing and at this point I've there's no one left I need to convince of anything there's no I don't everybody's made up their mind about what's going on So I'm like, I need to just unplug the information stream. And I'm like, how do I do that? Like, I don't know. Like part of my job is tra tracking stuff. And so I'm like, okay, it's the middle of what? It's the middle of June. As my garden, so am I. I'm like, all right, I'm going to take the rest of the month off. I'm going to go out of my way not to know what's going on. Because it, it really on one level doesn't matter. Whatever is going to happen is going to happen. I've been very vocal about it. I'm not confused about it. The people that want to be angry and bitter and all of that stuff, they're, that's what they're going to do. That's their journey to figure out. These people that want to live in fear, that's, that's their thing to figure out. I don't need to monitor it anymore. Because at this point, whatever is going to happen is going to happen. So I need to start over again, right? I need to regroup, recalculate, re, re, regain my energy field. So I think what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to continue doing my live streams and all of that. What I would ask is let's keep anything involving current reality on the outside world out of it. And let's go on the spiritual journey again. And what I mean by that is, again, again, it doesn't matter what's being projected on the cave wall anymore. We have to go back inside because I, I, I can only speak from my own experience. Like I think right as we were coming out of the scamdemic and the, a real level of truth was emerging, we got hammered again with this insanity. And part of it is bread and circuses, right? Part of it is, is blind, obedience to the madness and and as I think about it I realize that I gotta dumb myself down and I was talking about it last night on my live stream it's hard being aware being clear being sober of mind body and soul and watching people just literally burn it down and tear it down and destroy it. So I go, at this point, like, I can't go run out. There's nothing I can do except work on myself again. It's It really is like after the fire last year when my only answer was to work on myself. And I've realized that I've been so in a state of alert, like high alert, like anxiety alert in the sense of like, yeah, as a, as a dad, as a father and a husband, it's super disorienting what is 
going on. And yet I'm prepared on a, on a deeper cosmic level. Like I, like I talk about a lot, I've made my peace with God. I've made my peace with myself. I made peace with this insane reality that, that we're experiencing down here. So whatever's going to happen is going to happen. My job now is to check out my own root rot and figure out what it is about me that's manifesting in my plants in my garden. And pull out the dying plants and put new seeds in again and retill the soil and do all these things we do and regroup. So again, I'm, I'm, I'm really only talking to myself on a certain level. I swear I just saw an earwig, man. Oh, God, not earwigs. This never stops, man. Never stops. Earwigs. Oh. Growing your own food's tough. Earwigs. Ha! You move from one to the, uh, whatever. So there you go again. The, uh, ah. So I gotta go back to the core level of it all. Let it all go, man. Just let it all go. Turn it all over to God, right? God has prepared me God has given me everything I, I need is right here, right now. There's nothing left to gather. There's no more information I need to like gather about what is or isn't. It's all a fraud. It's all a con job to get me distracted from the baseline reality I'm growing some tomatoes and trying to get some cucumbers to grow. And that sort of level of freedom. Getting back to fully like skateboarding and building Legos and, and truly focusing in on, on my, my family and my child and all of this, yeah, it's it's a super distracting space we've been put into because it's trying to get you to pretend. It's like a duality. It's not a pretending, it's a duality of, of there is no denying the outside world and yet the outside world doesn't really exist either at the same time. It, it is the holographic universe and all of these things. So for me personally, my goal for the rest of the month is not to check anything out, is not to look, is to give the world two weeks to figure itself out, right? I'm going to give, I'm going to give the world two, two, I'm going to give it to like, the, we'll see what it looks like on the 4th of July, right? It's always been my favorite holiday. So I'm, I think I'm going to turn everything off in the sense of information gathering till the, through the 4th of July. And I'm going to make, stick my content to vanilla super vanilla and talk about my struggle with earwigs and growing lemon cucumbers and what it what I'm going to do to facilitate some organic food for my dinner table and build Legos with my son and and all the baseline stuff and here on on the final thing is is this is what I'm talking about where I'm like trying to regroup about this whole thing is 
I'm not sitting back idly buying, like, like I think part of the thing is, 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 and again, I had to regroup the other week and be like, I have to believe in the future. I have to believe in humanity is going to prevail in the, in it's the, the good wins, right? So I've been in here working on my, like, my Lego studio, right? I'm working on my, my backdrop right there. And I got my little my little Lego building zone. I've I've built in the corner of the garage back here, and because I'm a believer, man, like that's that's the struggle I have right now. Is like I'm a believer, but when you see the crops dying and withering, right, it makes you question what you believe in sometimes. And then I realized that if the seeds I put in the dirt to start it growing weren't fully prayed for, weren't fully put in with the true abundance at their core, of course they're going to fail. Of course they're going to like not do well because the initial intent of those crops being put into the ground wasn't one of abundance. It was actually one of, of failure. So that's what, that's what I'm up to, man. So I'm going to tone it all down for a bit and I'm just going to get childlike enthusiasm about everything and really just, I mean, work on my little private oasis back here. Anyway, this is The Illusion signing off and signing in, checking out and checking in at the same time, right? The duality of this human experience is like overwhelmingly radical. All right, with that, I'm gonna go.